2015, the year of our Dark Lord Cthulhu, and this is episode 45 of the Cave Cast. I am Admire. We almost couldn't be here today due to the fact that I tried to um, illegally watch the Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao fight, and it almost shut my computer down for good. <laughs> it worked, it worked for two out of three people. <laughs> <laughs> two out of three people's computers weren't fucked up. Ain't bad. Or... Fucked up. Briefly. Um, that's the rapper to my left, as usual, Monkus. And joining us yeah. for the first time in, what, 26 episodes, Kyle Dow back. Hi. And I'll add it out your last name if we say anything that might get you fired or something. We'll just be like just Kyle don't, Just don't say anything syndrome. about UPS and how I work there. I'm a FedEx guy anyways, so it's... <clears throat> Twalton. <laughs> Driver. <laughs> Twally. Um... So, I guess, since, I mean, we might as well just get this out of the way real quick. Pretty much the fight happened how we thought it was going to happen. Yeah. It and, went to decision. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and best, three of the best jokes that I've heard was uh, Floyd, congratulations, Floyd Mayweather still undefeated against both genders. Um, Scroobius Pips was... Uh, in the UFC, they take your belt for a hit and run or something like that. Yeah, they, in the UFC, they take your belt away for a hit and run. Yep, that was a good one. And then the other one, one, what was the other one? Oh, somebody said before the fight, the fight, the Floyd Mayweather Manny Pacquiao fights tonight, but I still think they can work it out. Yeah, that one. Um, <laughs> that was funny. And what was another one that I liked was that um, it had to. Gosh, thing I can't remember the quote. Um, it had to do with um, Justin Bieber, like it being a, a gr- girl or something. Oh. Like with every great man has, and they're standing next to each other. There's a, there's a great female or something. And it had him gently clapping mm-hmm. on the side. Yeah. Um, did Great you watch take. the fight, Kyle, or no. did you do you no. care about well I, boxing at no. all? Oh, that was the, I wanted the, to, but the quote oh. came to my head. Oh, go ahead. A, <laughs> Hit us with it. I'm sorry. Ready? Um, <laughs> the uh, the Manny Pacquiao, uh, or Floyd Mayweather's beat women worse than he beat Manny Pacquiao. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> that was a good... Yeah. But, yeah, so I had a black screen for uh, about two hours last night and was trying everything to get my computer to turn back on, and we, <laughs> we uh, endeavored to persevere. And we got through it. And I acted all nonchalant like it didn't bother we're, me too much. We're here, but here today. <laughs> I was worried. <laughs> well, okay, so technically, uh, I go, I go, hey, uh, uh, Monk, if I try to do this, like, you got it on your computer, you know, if I try to do this, you think it'll fuck my computer up or anything? What I said? No, no, it's fine. Like, I, I haven't had a single problem yet. <laughs> it's just, no, I said, I said, I said, you have to deal with all the bullshit that comes oh, that pops up. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, oh, pop-ups that's doesn't pretty sound much... bad. <laughs> and then I got hammered yeah, with like 200 pop-ups in a row <laughs> and uh I've never seen that i panicked before. and just pushed the off button <laughs> and so where you did you just how'd you find it uh i mean first i was trying to dot com, or dot e u or something <laughs> so i was trying to find it on my phone and stuff but oh, I've never uh oh also uh we got we got rick rolled last night do you do you know what never gonna give getting? you up that's uh, never, never gonna break so uh, you <laughs> clicked on something to watch it. And yeah, came up. Uh, the uh, <laughs> the producer for the Anthony Cumia show posted on Twitter said I got the live the live feed on on uh, Periscope TV right now or whatever, and so I clicked on it and it's yeah, Rickrolled. That's the first time I've ever actually I've been Rickrolled. I think 
that's the only one I could say for sure. I got Rick. Yeah, we because like, I, I like I laugh my ass off. It was, hell, it was it. hilarious. But uh, so one. you, I mean, you uh, you watched most of the fight. Yes, I I did, but being a uh, not so much of a fan of boxing yeah. rather than a fan of sports. I like it. I I saw things differently probably because I don't understand it. Yeah. I don't appreciate what Floyd does. <laughs> I don't think it's great, you know, entertaining for entertainment purposes, but after the fight and the breakdowns and I, and the scores came in, I I sort of un- I understand why he won because you know, he knew he basically everyone knew what was going to happen. That was how it was going to go. If he neutralized Pacquiao, he was going to win the fight. Mm-hmm. And that's exactly what he did. He neutralized know? the fuck out of him. Uh, Takes their weaknesses and. Henato Laranja said, uh, What did he say? Oh, he said Floyd Mayweather is auditioned for the next Huggy Bear. <laughs> Huggy Bear. <laughs> that's what. <laughs> I'm going to call Kynes real quick. I'm just going to. Just gonna cold call him real quick and see if uh, he got, you know, like he. So who did who did you guys want to win? I wanted Pacquiao to Pacquiao, win too. Pacquiao, but Kynes is a huge Mayweather fan. I wanted Pacquiao. To so win, I hope he I answers. Think he would. Hello. Oh, Kynes. The Kynes. I just had no faith that you were to answer. You're on the cave cast right now. <laughs> What's going on? Against your will, I just raped you into a cave cast. How's it feel? I just, I just now got up. How's it feel? I had to address all the shit talking and complaints about Floyd on Facebook. Well, you're gonna so have you had to, a long night? You're going to have to do that again, I think. <laughs> so, um, in, in the words of the great George St. Pierre, Marcus was not impressed with his performance. Well, he's not alone in that. Yeah. But like I just wrote on Facebook, the game of boxing is hit and don't get hit. Exactly. Floyd Floyd threw more punches. Plays that game better than anybody. He landed more punches. Landed more headshots. Landed at a higher connect percentage. Yeah. That's literally winning all categories. And that's... Uh, you can't land a punch walking backwards. So <laughs> Floyd threw more punches than you. Landed more punches than you. He was standing right fucking there when he was doing it. <laughs> so yeah. Pacquiao couldn't hit him, that's on Pacquiao. It wasn't running when Ali did it. It wasn't running when Willie Pep did it. It wasn't running when Sweet P. Whitaker did it. But when Floyd puts on a fucking boxing clinic against <laughs> the guy everybody wanted him to fight, it's running. Yeah. See, and that's, guy some fucking credit. That's, that's why. Th- that's why boxing's a dying sport. <laughs> Be- because that. I mean, not, not. I'm not saying he didn't win the fight at this point, because I. I. You know, I am a casual, very, very casual boxing fan. Almost and sleepy, so casual. casual. <laughs> and I, I, I get what I, what I saw was the first three rounds were for sure Mayweather's, and the last two were his for sure, and then round five, seven through nine, I, I, I didn't see it the same way as everybody else did. I think, and I think that's because of my knowledge on boxing isn't up to up to par. You know? Well, a seven through nine, I can't remember for sure, but it seems like those are some of the rounds that I gave Pacquiao. Yeah. He, I, I, I had him winning four, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 11. But I said to Danny that seven through nine was what was going to win the fight, whichever yeah, I way. I predicted he, a UD Floyd winning seven of 12 hard rounds. Yeah. Which would give Pacquiao five. Exactly. That's pretty much, I think, around what I I watched it. I watched it at about 1 o'clock in the morning last night, and uh, I gave gave Pacquiao four or five rounds out of the 12. That would be being as as fair as I could. And probably Um, probably a little more partial just because of the the hate you're probably going to get for your decision. (laughs) Yeah. Well, and then... Literally every boxing analysis that, that I that I either watched Besides? the video or went to the website, they had the same score. Sugar. Yeah. Uh, uh, did how, you? How, how Pacquiao thought he won that fight is beyond me. That's full. Because he usually doesn't do that. Pacquiao is usually the guy that goes, eh, what, it ha- what you know, yeah, whatever th- happens, happens. I think he's been hanging out with Nick Diaz. Is, is <laughs> where that came from. Uh-huh. I think it's just the magnitude of the fight, and he, he didn't want to. He 
really didn't want to lose this fight, and he didn't want to let the Philippines down. And, the Philippines. and then after the then after the fight, he tried to claim that he had a a shoulder injury, <laughs> and then he wasn't allowed a shot for the shoulder <laughs> injury. And then the the Nevada State Athletic Commission got on the mic and said that they lied, that they that they never told them about a shoulder injury oh except for two hours before the fight. Yeah, so there, was a, there was some fuckery going on boxing. after the fight, too, with, with Pacquiao and excuses. And that's not like him, so I'm not going to hold it against him. But for, for me... Keep your mouth. Uh, you... I, 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 it was amazing. Like, Floyd did what Floyd... That was classic, typical Floyd Mayweather win right there. And yeah, it's pretty much what we all thought it was going to be. And I, I, I mean, literally every boxing and analyst in the odds had what happened. Happy. Besides Sugar Ray, what, who was it? Oh, Sugar. <laughs> I was uh, I, I <laughs> only followed, one guy. I followed Sugar Shane Mosley for the length of the fight because he was doing kind of an analysis, and, and he, he's probably, he, well, he's one of the best people you could actually. He actually, have. he actually had Pacquiao winning that fight handily. <laughs> so, so did, and so did uh, uh, Evander okay, Holyfield. Well, well they're, they're... Evander Holyfield <laughs> has trouble saying his last name, so. Well, I can only think of a couple people that actually yeah. had Pacquiao winning, and Evander Holyfield is one of them. But Shane Mosley hates Floyd. Yeah, Floyd uh, there you go. You know, uh... and, 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 and some people might actually see it that way. But for the most part, I mean, most of the fucking boxing world, including all the commentators, judges, Max Kellerman, who interviewed Pacquiao after the fight, hates Floyd. He told Pacquiao to his face, you didn't win. Like, we all had you losing. Huh. Well, well, Floyd won. So, um, what do you uh, what do you think's next for him? I know he said he's going to do one more fight and be done, but you think he can go to forty nine and handed the belt and away. not not do not break no. Rocky's record and go go no, for fifty? I don't, I don't think he could avoid fighting his fiftieth fight. He had he had the contract. He had a contract with Showtime and CBS for six fights, and he owes them one more. He's going to do that so he can get the rest of his. He has a, like he has another hundred million or so coming to him that doesn't have to do with the Pacquiao fight. Uh, yeah, Jesus, it's ridiculous. Like he's gonna he's gonna walk away forty nine and zero possibly as the richest yeah. athlete that ever played a sport. You can tell his and passion's then, gone down. And that contract's up, and then he can choose to fight his fiftieth fight literally against anybody on either Showtime or HBO after that. There's no way he's not going to take that 50th fight to go for, go after Marciano's record. Well, well and I think with know. what he can do to people, uh, it's definitely it just seems like a cakewalk at this point. Do you think he's bored? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he said after the fight that he hasn't had his heart hasn't been. He's like, I'm just being honest. People aren't going to like this. Yeah. My heart hasn't been in boxing for a long time. I'm sure. I'm sure like, Manny really liked that. <laughs> and then yeah. yeah. I, <laughs> I fought you with half a he heart. He said it before the fight, you know? Like, he was he was all over that, saying that, you know, he didn't have the same passion that he used to have for it. Yeah. It, it and would... that sucks, but uh, I, mean, I, would ra- I would rather my favorite fighter was blood and gut and was bleeding, nothing but, you know, uh, love for the sport. But you yeah. got to take into consideration, he's not in the UFC. He's a businessman. He's a dirty, fucking cutthroat world, and... And uh, you know it's hard to have pride for your sport when it's when it's a, such a fucked up sport. If Floyd was in the UFC, you know, and and had come up in the UFC with a real president and a real structure system, he might actually care about his sport. But he's in boxing with Don King and Bob Arum, mm-hmm. where, <laughs> it's, it, where 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 horrible fucking robberies and all sorts of shit occur. Uh, I, I, I I don't have a hard I I don't judge a guy. For saying fuck boxing, like for that reason, it, it it the sport is still as dirty as shit and it needs to be cleaned up. And Floyd knows that as much as anybody. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you see it happening, I, or or did I, this? I wish Dana White would buy boxing. You know? <laughs> he, I wish he would just he's a huge boxing fan. Buy boxing, but that's not gonna happen. He is a huge boxing fan. Yeah, it's well, and, and, and a lot of that that guys are because they grew up watching boxing. But did, did you every, see everybody's criticism of boxing is right? Did you see that Dana was a special member of the media for the fight? Uh, no, I didn't yeah, see it. The, the, for all, all, I had to download the fight 
after it took place. Allegedly. So, allegedly. Yeah. So did you got a spotty... All they had was the fight. Your so connection was spotty, it. Kynes, for that, that link I gave you? Uh, yeah. no, I had to miss Justin Bieber, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you poor thing. I've, I got yeah. my link to work from... Pretty much five through twelve, perfectly. Marcus is really defensive about his link right now <laughs> because uh, because it almost destroyed my computer last night. So and it worked. I go it worked for kinds. And it worked for kinds. <laughs> no. Yeah. Well, no, that link. The link worked on and off. It wasn't. If I had a better computer and a better okay. connection, I probably would have been able to watch that fight. You know, like on Danny's that computer. Link. Well, I just, I just feel like I've always babied my computer so much that it was, just, it was like a virgin getting AIDS on its first time having sex. You know? Yeah, I have eight yeah. STDs all but, over. But, but it turns out it was just a. In the shower. It was just. It, work. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a scare. Uh, gonorrhea it went away. So you know. I don't think this helped. Uh, I don't think this this fight helped boxing, though. To be honest with you, this no. this brought a lot a lot of casual and people that never watch boxing in. Yeah. And, and and it wasn't the sort of fight that you wanted the world to see to bring boxing fans in because Floyd is That's boring right. to the is to the casual boxing fan and uh, and I understand that. I knew this it wasn't going to be the fight to save boxing, but it is the fight I wanted to see. Yeah, is a is a casual fan. I agree with everything you just said <laughs> about boxing. I mean, I mean, I, could, I, I I knew that ahead of time. Like I just like when when uh, when people on ESPN were talking about well this day boxing, I was like, no, it's not. It's going to be the opposite. Floyd's going to win. Everybody's going to be pissed about what they do, <laughs> and nobody's yeah. coming back. That's what I said. Um, well, so it, so it kind of felt almost like on in the lead up to it. That it was kind of like a last gasp, like a dying breath kind of thing. Boxing. It might be. Like, I mean, something's got to give for boxing to change its ways. Everybody's. We, we people thought Mike Tyson biting what's his name to hear a holy deal deer off was gonna be yeah. it, was gonna be the thing, but they're still doing things the same way to, 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 in 2015. It's, so. it's just crazy how the spectacle of the whole event when you're watching the commentators talk um during the pr the before fights the undercard where you know they're in the celebrities are all walking in and they're just like licking their assholes uh, every yeah, celebrity yeah. It, it's disgusting they it, that's yeah. all it's about like who's here you know how big you know how big of an event it is by the 88 a listers they have you, you know right. sitting front row and no, you all you won't hear me say that boxing is more exciting or 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 a, a better ran sport than UFC. Like I just said in my post, it, if you want action and you want a lot of excitement, if you want so blood, it's it, it's it's just as high skilled, if not more high skilled, and you're gonna get more action. MMA, MMA is for more people. Yeah, I think. I mean, I mean and, I think and it's MMA, way better. It already has. It will surpass boxing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're totally right, and it's way better too. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, well, yeah, we just wanted to come. We just kind of wanted to call and get your views on it, and uh, let you bask in the sort of. Yeah, I'll probably spend the next week having the same argument over and over again. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I mean, we got it on wax now, so I'll just cut this out for you, and you could just press play on a tape tape player and. I don't know why I said tape player. It's 2015. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we'll let you go. Um, thanks for picking up. Yeah. At least... I'll, uh, I'll be on the next one. I, I, I got to sleep in today, and I wasn't fucking getting up for anything. So. Yeah. I'm, I'm just saying this better not be uh, Mayweather syndrome. You're uh, getting close to your 50th cave cast, and your heart's not in it anymore. <laughs> I'm not, I, I, I'm not Floyd. <laughs> I'm not Floyd. <laughs> All right, man. We'll let you go. All right. Have a good one. All right. Thanks. Later. So I, I guess my closing thought on it was it was kind of like it just seemed like uh, I know I've been real big on metaphors lately, but it seemed like like you're dating like you're dating this girl, but she doesn't want to be in a relationship with you, and she won't let you let you hit it. You know, she won't let you have sex. 
And then you're in this relationship with her where you're trying to have sex with her so bad for five years. And then when she finally gives it to you, it's not, it's not anything special. Exactly. It's not anything impressive. And you should have just done this five years ago and, and got it over with. So we know what we were, you know, what we were in for. Right. Um, oh, we got a, uh, German style cookie. What's that? Oh, that's my mouse. My mouse. It's my mouse. My mouse. Um, dead air, yeah. How you know it? How you know it? I don't <clears throat> Sorry, know I it. Forgot. I'm a poet. I forgot what we were doing here. Um, so, goddamn, we, we actually do kind of have a lot to talk about today. Oh, is there, is there a giant? Giants we got two update. San Francisco yeah. Giants fans in the house. <laughs> yep, it's 3-0 in the, I think, bottom of so the, be top a, of the six. This will be a solo show with just me today, and you'll hear Marcus <laughs> yell a score out and... Yeah! and and Kyle uh, will inaudibly nod in his direction. Um, do you, so, do you got any? Uh, since we are, since the cat's out the bag, and we already know that you're down with Brown. Uh, yeah. Do you have any interesting uh, UPS stories now that you're up there in P Town or um, T Town? I'm yeah, it's twaddling. You run it twaddling. Not Portland. Twaddling. <laughs> do you do you run into any uh, characters or anything regularly? Oh, yeah. Every day, people ordering. Uh, oh, yeah, see, I knew, I knew we would All get right. somewhere. Oh, <laughs> now so, we got ideas rolling. Like, yeah, shit. It was like two weeks ago. There's this apartment I deliver to all the time. This like fat, short-haired chick. Well, overweight. You know. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we, big we're big bones. This is a new, <laughs> a new, a new, more sensitive Husky. cave cast. <laughs> Husky. Um. Yes. Well, I was like. I deliver there huge, all the time. Yeah. Amazon shit, you know. Everyone, every, Amazon, yeah. everything. Well, Don't have to leave the house. Exactly. And she looks like she doesn't. <laughs> but, she probably uh, looks like she can't. Oh, no. <laughs> and uh, right. I'm getting ready to deliver this box, and I like pick it up, and it rips open, and it's a freaking huge, like a... Uh, like a Dildo. That's no, for, I, but it was pizza. like some, some flavored... Lube, lube with like I, glitter and it uh, was like a not a I'm not, I, I keep wanting to say family size but it's like <laughs> a, a value size oh like, value freaking, size, like right? a Costco ounce. Costco size yeah, yeah. and uh and it's in like, bulk she buys her lube in yeah, bulk yeah and it's like it was so awkward <laughs> having to go up there and give it to her because like I know what it is now <laughs> and I'm just thinking like uh, like here, using this for here's it. your lube did you look at her in the face or no could, I didn't even like, I just like, <laughs> like one of these I didn't like, see it I didn't I don't know what this is I'm handing you but uh, uh yeah your shimmery uh blueberry well, now lube now here. it seems like sparkles in lube is not the greatest idea yeah it will I don't I don't know if there's spark the labeling was all glittery. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that just seems like a whole health thing. Yeah. That you wouldn't want to get involved in. <laughs> get glitter oh. in your wiener hole. Oh, fuck, man. This sucks when shampoo gets in the wiener hole. Stings. <laughs> Soap. <laughs> God, it's not a good lubrication. I don't know that I've ever had. Oh, okay. I was going to say, you, how do you get shampoo you know in your the, dick hole? Only when you're, <laughs> yeah, only when you're in the shower and you're, okay. you're in high school or. And you're like, oh, this junior high. This is maybe let's maybe let's try this out. Oh, this works. Oh, fuck. Ah, <laughs> God, that stings. It's okay. Nothing. I just, I just, uh, nothing but acetone for me. I just, you know. Plus, it I keeps just, it looking bit, good. I just raw dog. Bitch, wigger, this is G-rated. <laughs> oh, shut up, Marcus. Fuck. <laughs> um. You don't really have a favorite football team, huh? St. Louis Rams. Rams. Eh, yeah. Yeah, he is. He's not a Seattle fan. Yeah, not a Seahawks. <laughs> don't let him convince you. Kayleen, Kayleen's <laughs> He's from a Seattle. She likes, she, you know. Okay, I, I'll give so it to you. Someone around her and her family. Oh, gotta root for the um, Seattle I got I, I to put out an apology right now because I just now remembered that Mike was supposed to come on this week. Mike who? <sighs> Fat Mike. Oh <laughs> shit! And uh, I totally forgot to call him. And also, he forgot to call us. Kyle, Kyle is in town for just this weekend. So, uh, who's Fat Mike? Is that Mike Clary? Clary? Oh, 
I was going to say that, but... <laughs> yeah, I forgot. Uh, last week, he, he called by, in last week. Did he go by Fat Mike? No, we don't, we're don't. we not calling him that anymore. But, that. But, but I said, got, yeah. I was like, Mike, and then Marcus knew who it was, but he wanted me to say it, so he, <laughs> he didn't pretend like he didn't understand. <laughs> <clears throat> um, yeah, sorry, Mike. Uh, God damn it. It, it, was a, it was a special thing, because Kyle's not in town usually. And yeah. He's usually in Twaddlin'. I'm back for the first time. Like ludicrous. <laughs> very back for the very. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I don't have anything to say. Just, just stop and look at him till he gets it out. I'm just going <laughs> off my brain. The top of it. Um. So, uh, I feel bad. I feel bad for the female listeners that uh, just going on sports. So let's move. Let's move. John Jones. Uh. Stripped of the title. John Jones. <laughs> Psych, we're going MMA, Bones. bitches. Um, Jones. So we got the we got the news live on the well, cast last week. So you're week. not allowed to do cocaine? Apparently not. MMA. Yeah. I don't they frown upon it. I don't know if it's an actual Marijuana rule. Is well they but, frown upon it or is it illegal? Like, you know, like masturbating on I'm there. just pretty it's, sure. You know, there's a blurred line there. It's as illegal as masturbating a baby, like you were just going to say. On an airplane. (laughs) On an airplane. Masturbating Masturbating a baby baby on an airplane. airplane. (laughs) It was something wrong here. Uh, Why does it, like... It's just as bad as what he did. Okay. What if you're masturbating a baby on a public transit bus or something? Is that even... I see it up there all the time. Yeah. Portland, man. (laughs) Keep Portland weird. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, I don't want to live up there. Um... So, John Jones, we found the news uh, uh, on the Cave Cast last week that he was wanted. He was missing in action from a hit and run, and they found a weed pipe in his That's all. car. Co- um, no cocaine. Yeah, it's first reported. We thought, yeah, yeah. we th- first. Well, here's here's the fucking there irresponsibility of cocaine. of the MMA media right now. That because like. I'll read articles and it's just infuriating. Like the title of the article is just a, you know, it's clickbait to just get you to. Yeah. So, so the original article, which I'm glad we didn't really throw that out there. Uh, knuckles deep. Um, said that he hit an old woman, and there was cocaine involved. And then, so the actual story is he hit a, he ran a red light and t-boned a pregnant chick, a 20 year old pregnant chick, and. Uh, Hopped out and ran. Twenty, but she sh- suffered no injuries. So that was the second one I yeah. saw. Yeah, but she seemed to be fine, and the baby was fine. Yeah, so it was just misdemeanor. So then, then the eyewitnesses came out and said that he ran off, but then he ran back, grabbed a handful <laughs> of cash, still left the weed pipe in his car like a moron, yeah. and then took off again. <clears throat> Dumb. And uh, then it turns out that the pregnant chick. Uh, got suffered a broken arm, which turned it into a felony hit and run because there was grievous bodily harm, and then he turned himself in, and now he might be looking at some time. But they stripped him of his belt. Where was that at? Uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico. I already made that better call Saul joke, so <laughs> so you just calm down on that. Um, yeah, that's that's all I was thinking, and I never saw. I figured there'd be all kinds of better call Saul jokes when. The, that happened in New yeah. Mexico, you know, but not a lot of people, uh, you know, think along the perfect comedy lines that I do. So, yeah, they don't. <clears throat> yes, you're smarter than them. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, everyone out there that's not smarter than Danny, I'm talking to you. <laughs> talking to you, person. <laughs> I'm talking to you. <laughs> yeah. Talking to you, 25 year old high school student. You want to be my friend? Um, anyways, that's that's all the, the combat sports oh, no. talk that we're gonna do today. Alpine skier announces breakup with boyfriend Tiger Woods, Lindsey Vaughn. That's... What is that news? Lindsey Vaughn was dating Tiger Woods. Yeah, yeah, dude. I didn't. That was she's so she... 2014. And 2015 is their breakup, and her saying like when she was asked if she liked golf, she looks, she goes. Yeah, I uh, love golf. You know, like it's like he's not a real athlete. Um, I love huh. golf. So immediately after that, did she take a five iron to his <laughs> SUV or? I don't know. I think he, I don't know. I he, think he's not as good at golf as he used to be. Uh, well, um, so is the is the lube for the large lady the only UPS store you got? Or, or I mean, there's you know you every, live in 
You Every live... day is a new battle. Right? Sorry, have a mic stand. I live in Beaverton. You should Beaverton. You should, you should which write. which is it? Is it Twaddlin or Beaverton? I work in Twaddlin because the hub is there's not. A, well, there is a hub in Beaverton because it just opened, but I don't work there. Ah, okay. Twaddlin. So there's a lot of vagina references in the places you live. Well, yeah, Beaver, Twaddlin. Uh, actually, those are never mind. Sparkly lube. Sparkly lube. Oof. Portland, like port. Port. Portland. Well. It's, yeah, you can searching for any port your, yeah. searching for any port when the storm's approaching. Exactly. Um, <laughs> boy, we are killing it this week. God, I, that's what I'm, I'm. My head's spinning right now. I'm going <laughs> like, hey, God, this is my worst one in a not while. Not a UPS story, but um, I did karaoke. Really? One time up there. Yeah. <laughs> How was that? What song did what you song? sing? Did you do? Wait, yeah, don't say it. Can I guess? California Love. No. Damn it. Even better. Uh, Justin Bieber's baby. Juicy. Oh. Yep. And I, it was... I thought I was going to say that, but then I was like, it was, that was just all a dream, so I don't... Yeah, it was all a dream. <laughs> and the funny thing is, is I know that song, like, word for word, I could do it. You know, you don't have to look at the this, this screen or nothing, but I was so drunk. Like, when I started, and I, like, I never do karaoke in the bar. There was a lot of people in there and shit. I butchered the whole like first verse. I was like off, <laughs> so, and then when I finally look up at the screen, I'm like, "Oh shit, that's where I'm at." And then I did it, but and you know, because d- these dudes did the you know that ASAP Rocky Ugh. I got mm. a fucking problem, you know that one. And it has, it has problems. These two white mm. dudes, and there's okay, there's like black, a lot of black people, and they're, they're they say the in. N word in that song <laughs> like, they're white guys? fifty times. They yeah. really are white. I've seen well, no, them, no, no, but no. they look black. No, no. Okay. The dudes at karaoke, oh, okay. these two <laughs> white dudes were singing it, and and they're like, there's like this part where they say the N word like they're like five times in a row. What, the, uh, Nietzsche? Yeah. Is that the N word you're saying? Uh, I'm not gonna. Uh, oh, no, n- I nincompoop. Yeah, kind of sounds like that. It rhymes. Knowledge, with, right? It rhymes with uh, college. It rhymes with trigger. I like how you didn't do the hard R right there. I like that. <laughs> but they sung that. So then when I and so I was trying to think of a song. You know, I'm like, oh, what's a good song that I know that doesn't have that in it? So <laughs> well, then juicy in the chorus. It's like if you don't know, now you know. But I said cracker. I did oh, cracker nice. every time. Like know, if you don't know, now you know. know cracker. It was so. <laughs> Dude, that's okay. awesome. Yeah. Fuck yeah, that's pretty cool. I've always done that with that song. Yeah, just because it was funny. I don't mind saying nigga, but say uh, it was in context. Engine. In context, I say engine. Uh, ninja. In, that one. That was a yeah. uh, no, one that no, IC, no, ICP fans wanted to be able to say nigga, so well, they just see, turned but, it into ninja. But, like I don't understand why. Like Fat Joe says it. He ain't black. Whoa, whoa, whoa! He's so Mexican. does fucking Jennifer Lopez. Cypress He's Hill? just Joe real? now, yeah. guys. Be Jennifer real? Lopez, nigga. She says it. In That's that right ja in the Ja Rule, Rule song. song. Yeah, yeah. yeah Jeffrey Atkins. But it's like you know, one of us cracker saints. <laughs> They're anyway. not like uh, any. If you're Puerto Rican, smart, you get an N-word card. I think. I want to say, I, intelligent people don't have a problem when they. Un- understand context you know it's all in context and also and also puerto ricans are like the n-word of the hispanic community so yeah you hear There's, the word puerto it's rican. called a puerto rican card puerto rican in card <laughs> Jeez, we're not yeah. we're not this <laughs> um okay I like everybody i want to get into the juicy thing that you have <laughs> uh pun intended um <laughs> Marcus, but I I think I don't want to get into it until after the break. The juicy thing that I have. The precision. Oh, buddy! Uh, the precision, the precision some, story that you have. Allegedly speaking, on <laughs> yes, some yes, precision yes. lubrication. Yes. DC. Very, speaking of, pers- oh yeah, very, that joke was made already <laughs> about something with lube. We could just keep doing it. <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. What about, what about the Kentucky Derby? That was yesterday. The Kentucky Derby? Yeah, that's gonna sound um, awesome. Did you get? Did you get? I mean, that's sports. Uh, or we're off sports now. I thought no. I thought I clicked on the link after I got the computer working to watch yeah. the Kentucky Derby, but it was just a, a guy being killed by a horse dick. Oh. Uh-huh. So. By <laughs> the horse definitely won that race. That horse was stabbing him good, wasn't he? <laughs> The, <laughs> he just kind of the horse gets it gets just it's like when 
when you play just the tip, well, and it's like funny. you know this is. Well, you thought just what, what I thought killed him or was the mortal wound was when the fucking horse dickhead went through his belly button <laughs> and it fucking popped through. When and it made a human fucking, shish kebab. <laughs> like fucking, the guy was still sitting there taking shish it. Shish kebab sounds good. Um, everyone just looks. So did you please. did you see the picture of David Rockefeller that I put up on Facebook? Uh, the old old guy. He looks. He's uh, what? How, how old was he? Eighty-eight years old? No, he's ninety. Ninety something. When was it? When I'll get a couple it. days ago. Pop it up on our yeah. tubular. We'll bring it up on this high tech wizardry oh, that we. So that's the what the is for. So you can get that on there. Yes, the wizardry. Oh God, this guy is just some creep. Uh, yeah, he's he's like ninety years old. Ugh. 99 years old, okay. He looks He's almost really 100. stoned in that picture. Or he has blood coming out of his eyes. I, I've got it figured out. So, obviously, is his... <laughs> sort of... <laughs> Perfect. He got it. Uh, Jesus Christ. Obviously, his last name is Rockefeller, so we know he's into some Illuminati-type shit. We and rock hoes. I don't think you get... Sixth? Heart? Yeah, he, he, he just survived his sixth heart transplant, and I do believe, now this is unfounded and alleged, <laughs> I do believe he is getting those hearts from uh, Nigerian track stars that are 16 <laughs> years old. Perfectly healthy, they're just yeah. taking the heart, you know. I just can't wait for the skin transplant. Because you can, so, you know. <laughs> like I saw somewhere about a straight head brain transplant. transplant. But look at the redness around his eyes here. This is that man should not be alive. This is you know when your soul has taken you know like yes. you remember that old game Fable, where you could you yes. could create your player and he would get evil and grow horns if you did bad play. shit. This I think is is our version of that because I think God. this guy's look at look in there. Look I mean, in his eye. eye. What's the yeah. deal? Look, it looks like he has red. He eats babies. <laughs> like I'm pretty sure he eats babies. It's just part of his fucking everyday diet. Yeah, I'm sure. Like, and I don't even know if these are babies or that are newborn. They might be cut out of the stomach before they're. You know, I ready. think technically but they have to be for the uh, for the whole thing to work. The ritual, you know, they blood, technically uh, yeah. The blood ritual. Born in blood and all that happy nonsense. God, he's God creepy damn. Just put there's a there's like a there's this giant soup bowl. They they just throw the. Sick. Yeah, the juices and the yeah. fetuses in, and then he just he just grabs. I I, f- I feel like a two pronged spork. Walls just too high to get out. People are you know it's well, just crazy. After looking at this guy, there needs to be some kind of law, you know. After like four heart transplants, just I really want to know go. where he's getting these hearts from. Like productive, uh, yeah. Because how do the uh, you get on a list here somehow? Right, and then you know by. This one right now, they look at they're looking at the list, going like, "It's gonna uh, be a sixth part." Old Isn't David, that a little bit too much for one person. Well, yeah, Good old yeah, Dave Rockefeller. Yeah, yeah. people. All That's five time. other people yeah. that could have uh, yeah. exactly. could have maybe got a heart instead of oh. keeping this fucking and how many, dinosaur like, alive. When was his last one? Like four months ago. Yeah, I, <laughs> I mean, you know, to be honest, I didn't really feel the need to uh, accentuate my nightmares with anything more than the picture. So, I know. I'm, as per usual, I read the. Type uh, in headline and just looked at the picture. I should type a name on here and just put somebody else. <laughs> yeah, because I'm I like how that one says me. Me. I didn't, I didn't know that. That's really weird. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Huh. Anyways. Well, um Jolly Crag Wahi Hags. You know, we didn't we didn't figure out because it's not really a sponsor that we have this well, week. No sponsor, but we, what do you call this? Well, basically, um, election season is coming up, and uh, you know, Hillary. 2016 is rapidly approaching. It's funny you say that. Um, and we decided before. that the Cave Music family is going to pick their okay. front runners and give a give a small um, what would you call it? Just a, a little electron advertisement trying to sway the people. In our directions. In all honesty, it's political satire. <laughs> oh, is that well, what we were supposed to do? I don't know. I did mine serious. Oh, fuck. So I have to do mine serious Well, now. we're going to have to figure all this right. out later, but... Um, 
That's that. Uh, listen now to a word from me. Um, trying to plug my favorite, uh, my favorite person for the uh, Oval Office, and I don't know how much more poorly I could explain this. So I guess we'll just we'll just uh, coming from a political expert. You yeah. Know, like I feel you did an excellent job. I mean, I don't I don't feel like I need to say much more. Oh. So we'll be right back after um, these messages. And, uh, and now, a we... word from my master. <laughs> we love you so much. <laughs> Hi, my name is Danny Admire from the CMP Cavecast, and I'm talking to you, America. If you're like me and constantly wonder why our great country is not out there kicking ass and showing the rest of the world how big our dong is, have I got the presidential candidate for you. Vote for Hillary Clinton in this next election if you want a strong war lizard in the Oval Office as bad as I do. We need someone with the guts to laugh in the face of trivial things like setting a child molester free or drone striking a brown family at a wedding. Someone who recognizes the sanctity of good white American marriages even if the husband can't keep his dick out of the mouths of young interns. I know what you're gonna say, but Danny, we demand familiarity and we're used to corruption in the White House. Allow me to tell you, Hillary Rodham has an impressive 40-year resume on that very subject. Whether it's misappropriations in a charity foundation or secret emails, she's got the goods, America, and we're counting on you to hasten the end of this failing empire, so vote Hillary if you want these things for your country. Or if you just want to throw a blind vote her way because you think that's what a feminist would do, that's fine too. Vote Dude, Hillary. Yes. Mm-hmm. Do, 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 do. So that was, uh, that was my endorsement for a fucking war criminal. Um, so oh, let's, uh, let's just get right into this. Uh, All right. Marcus, uh, you, you, uh, presented me with some information that I hadn't heard. I guess I'll set it up by saying, um, there's a guy who, who owned a fairly big, uh, lube company. This is a real lube heavy cave cast people. <laughs> um, Sean's precision lube, uh, the owner, Sean Lowry, uh, was arrested was it last year or sometime? Was it like eight months ago? I think it was in 2013. Was it really? When well, he either way, he uh, it happened. Yeah, he was drunk driving and he hit two girls. A girl, correct? A, guy. A, guy, a, girl a guy and a, guy and a girl. Yeah. On the side of the road, and killed the girl. Yes. Correct. Killed the girl, injured the other person. Um, should be Suge Knight's precision loop. <laughs> yeah. uh, Anyways, so he went to trial recently and was found guilty of manslaughter in the first degree. One and the um, assault. The, the, yeah, assault. Oh. Vehicular assault. Yes. It, it, you He's know, going to prison for sixteen years. Yeah, in which we, when we first saw this. We thought, like, fuck, he's yeah. getting, you know, like for somebody who did something accidentally, didn't, you know, didn't, was drunk, wasn't in his right mind when he did it, got 16 years for fucking so. You yeah, know, a, got, a like guy that. made a mistake and killed and somebody. Wanna, and that's, that's fucked up, but. And that's what I've heard. That you was, know, yeah. like, you know, you hear people, you know, defending to that point, going, like, he can, people change, blah, blah, well, blah. See, I haven't heard anything. Well. Anyone. He well he he has a he has a bad rap anyways yeah. as as it is with being a woman beater you know is right you know and not treating people allegedly very, very nice allegedly <laughs> you know this is all this is all hearsay but he's a young guy with a biz a pretty flourishing business I think they I think I almost it's over a million dollar business I'm pretty yeah sure. they had two two space two places here in uh, Roseburg good old Roseburg and. Years uh, old. Thirty-four. That's yeah. old. Yeah. So, um, so then, then we. Well, uh, we'll just get into it. Yeah. All right. Here's the alleged. Uh, let, let's yes. let's keep quotes <laughs> quotes here on this allegedly because this isn't. We're not no going to use that every time. It's just going to be a blanket. Evidence. Yes. Statement over this entire segment. Just because <laughs> this needs to be understood that I'm not spreading a rumor. This is hearsay. That yes, it is hearsay. But it the the source and the circumstances make complete sense. Anyways, what can you tell us about your source before we get into this? It it was a I, I work crew through the jail, um, and it was somebody who 
had known him and throughout his life and uh, was part of his circle of of people that okay. he knew. He um well, like I said, he's not a very nice person to people allegedly. And couple of DVs. He, yeah, not nah, just a couple of domestics. You know, he he'd been in trouble with with treating people like shit before. Well, he he's coming home this night and and what had been reported about happening is that he he he, he swerved off the road and hit these people. And it's like God, you just say you think to yourself like shit. This you know, that could be anybody. Mm-hmm. It could be fucking anybody. I've got a DUI. Could have been me. You know, could have you know, swerving off the road. I've done it before where you cross the white line and you look ahead about 200, 300 feet and they're like, fuck, there's people there. Mm-hmm. And if you would have did it there, you would have sna- snapped them. Ba bam, they're dead. But That's a mistake, a but mistake. a very a very sad, sad mistake, yes. Well, this Sean Lowry guy Sean Lowry. Who originally pled not guilty to the charge, pled guilty right before the trial because rumor has it that allegedly, allegedly, (laughs) he was going, (laughs) they had a case for murder against him. He ran her down thinking it was an ex girlfriend with another guy. And dun, dun, dun. and then it's like, oh shit! You know, you hear about his past, his checkered past with his f- females. He's an alcoholic. He drinks a lot, and the motherfucker's driving home thinks he sees his ex girlfriend, or I don't know if it was someone he was still right. talking to at the time, with a, fears walking the with road, a dude, you know, in his drunken stupor or whatever, goes over See, and, and, and hits and the person where it happened at. And uh, which I'm going to add to this, why this sort of makes sense, why this guy is a huge fucking pile of shit, is that that road is really straight right there. Yeah. He didn't stop. That road is is a complete straightaway. And to to pick out a spot on that road to swerve off the road and hit people, it just seems... Seems really convenient, I guess. Well, I mean, not not for the people that got hit with the car, but seems really, uh, you know, it's kind of interesting to think about. And um, so, I mean, I, I honestly have ne- I never hoped for a prison rape more. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I'm not usually one to hope for a rape, a good raping. But this seems like a guy that deserves it. Is if this no alleged, lube <laughs> alleged stuff is true. It all it all kind of makes sense, you know. You change your plea right before the trial because you know the mm-hmm. district attorney says, says "Look, hey, motherfucker, dude, you're gonna go to jail for life, yeah, dude." They have a case so, against you. So, sixteen years he got. Is that correct? Am I? Yeah, am I... Uh, fifteen years, ten months. So, so uh, yeah. <laughs> I always think we should have called instead of the CMP Cave Cast. We should have just called this podcast. Talking out of pocket with Admire and Monk, because because we yeah. say a lot of stuff that we're pretty sure about. <laughs> yeah, we are pretty sure about talking their... out of pocket with Admire and Monk. I that'll know. be our that'll be our uh, terrestrial radio show. You know, Sean Lowry says where we can't say fuck. Con, yes, don't fuck. You know, this is a quote. This quote, I'm reading these quotes, and it just pisses me off. You know, it's, I know there are hundreds of people out there who make the same mistake I did. I don't want those people to end up taking somebody else's life as I accidentally did. Wow. And the fact that he threw accident, he felt the need to throw accidentally in in there. In a weird spot. That is a weird spot to (laughs) shoehorn that word in. I got to say. I'm not arguing with it. I'm accepting it. And I'm going to get out February 19th, 2031. Jesus Christ. Uh, So how old, how old is that going to put him when he's out? He's 34 now. He's 50. 50, basically. Around 49, 50. Man, I could not uh I could not imagine being locked up like a fucking animal for that long. Fuck two and that's the it's just you know they were measure 11 crimes which is Those, mandatory mandatory now, says 6 7 years. Measure 11 crimes cool. are uh like purposefully doing violence to another person, correct? Like that's what I always thought they were. It, when that popped in, it, it, it yeah, it's to the ex- it's like that, you know, like it, it. They're bad crimes that you're doing to intentionally harm. Yeah, I I I know my cousin. I had a measure eleven crime. 
on right. him, and it was all measure eleven crimes are manda- There's no, 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 can't get out early. Your your mandatory minimum sentence. Yeah, that's what you're taking. So it's sixteen years that it, it, he he's going to do sixteen years, and so. You know, oh, it's it, a compounded. Both of them came with a seven or a six or seven. Yeah, it, it, it says my math is awful. That would be <laughs> eight years apiece. Yes. Stupid. Okay. Cry. It, it says Measure Eleven is a nineteen ninety four ballot initiative that set minimum mandatory sentences for serious serious crimes. It was approved by voters of Oregon by a nearly two thirds majority. Ninety four. And, and it went into effect on April first, nineteen ninety five. Oh. And. I didn't think it'd been around that long. It's it's strongly supported by people. Yeah. Um, You know, I I can't, you know, I can't, I I don't don't have much knowledge on it. I just know that if you're getting a Measure 11 crime, you're, (laughs) you did something bad. I mean, it's not not a cool thing to do. You did something bad. Talking out of pocket yeah. with the rain gods. Yeah. Right. yeah. Oh, bring it, Traffic's it. looking Ooh. tight this morning. Watch out for Ooh. those slippery spots around the corners. <laughs> 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 oh, God. This is wonderful, isn't it? You guys should have your own news. <laughs> I think we could have stupid news, you know? Like... <laughs> Stupid. Speaking of stupid news, <laughs> oh, the master of the Segway. Um, oh, the is. last time Kyle was on, uh, which <laughs> I should have got the date for that because this was this is a long time ago. Cavecast nineteen. Nineteen yeah. would have been well. We already said it. Want me to twenty six? Twenty six weeks ago, at least. I don't think we were doing it every week back uh, then. I think it was no. more than a year ago. Jesus Christ, we really we really rolled to a slow start on this Cavecast thing, didn't we? Dude, you put in Cavecast 19 and Cavecast 19 pops up. That's crazy. It was eight months ago. Yeah, eight more than ago? a year. <laughs> Definitely more than a year. Our, we have Talking seven. math out of pocket with <laughs> Admire Monk and Kai. We got 45, 45 year days. I mean, 45 days. Day yeah. years, forty-five, 45 day. day months. <laughs> God, <laughs> stick with us, guys. Zoom, mm. zoom, 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 and your boom, boom. God, Shit, um, get it done. Ready to cast. Chaz, motherfuckers. Okay, am I on I'm here? Decent. I'm trying to go. So, speaking of weird news, <laughs> that, that really was not a good segue at all. But I, it was a. I you shoot. Wrote a segue, huh? Have you ever wrote a segue? <laughs> Tambourine. <laughs> that was a joke, right? Um, no, <laughs> no. Dude, I I, saw some I guy, ride segways all day on this cave cast. I saw some guy on a one wheeled one with no handle, just a wheel between his feet, the other day. A wheel. <laughs> I'm um, lost. <laughs> I don't even know um, how to spell segue. S E G U E. If right. there's one thing I can do, it's spell. A segue is a smooth transition from one topic or section to the next. The term is derived from Italian segui. It follows. <laughs> I would have, I'm Italian, I would have I don't expected know. you to pronounce that a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> segue. Um, Son uh, of a the bitch. Pronunciation in English differs from the original Italian pronunciation. I can't figure out how to uh, get my thing to go on the screen over there. Can you go to stopmasturbationnow.org? Yes. And put that up there. We are revisiting the famed website from uh, episode 19 of the CMP Cavecast, stopmasturbationnow.org. We haven't... I just kind of remembered it. I didn't remember it. I looked back oh and to, to what we were talking about. Uh, put What? Is it this site right here? Uh, it, here we go. I don't think this is it, but... Let me see. Let's see. I'm putting it up. Yeah. That is stopmasturbationnow.org. I don't I'm just going to put stop masturbation search. Adult it. cam sex. I I know what I need. I put in the website. Is it .com or .org? There it is. Is it a Facebook page? Right. No. I thought there. stopmasturbationnow.org. That was the... Yeah, that was what you put in, huh? Yeah. Well, now it looks like a porn site. Not like I know what those look like. <laughs> Same. 
I'm going to go to the Facebook because I remember right it. Right here? And then we'll get the link off the Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. They all look so happy. <laughs> their hands are as far as possible <laughs> yeah. away from their junk. Just covered in lotion. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is already getting good. What's the first product we have here, Marcus? <laughs> <laughs> hands off. Anti master. <laughs> Anti-masturbatory gum. Eight <laughs> pieces, instant relief, lasting up to six hours. Fast acting. So, uh, does hands-off anti-masturbatory gum actually make you make you jizz? Is that is that what I'm getting here? Hold on. Go down. <laughs> See, this is Read gold that. every time. What'd she say? <laughs> Can I get numb in? Read, read the whole thing. <laughs> Masturbate. Why would I touch myself when the Lord touches me every day? Can I get an amen? Amen, amen. sister. Trisha Bread Quanda. <laughs> bread Quanda. Bread Quanda. Oh, hey, is that, that's Abby Martin. Ew. Go back up. Who's this? Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> that's in Spanish. Bad Turnack. Go up real quick. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's Abby there Martin. She is. Why is Abby Martin on here? Could she click on this video. Yeah, let's... I want to watch it. I see some dirty she, in the She's background. pretty hot. I love Abby Martin. That's that's her painting right there. Oh, is it? This doesn't really fit the. I don't think this is um, what we're looking for. Take a look at this from the Wall Street Journal. Israeli air defense intercepts three minutes long too. I, I wonder if there's going to be a payoff at the end of the She's worth a wank. That's what one of the shares said. The New York Times makes it seem like there's an equal playing field by stating Israel and Hamas simply exchange fire. Oh, the bottom comment there has, says, what does this have to do with fapping? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, get out. Of here. Let's go to the next. Oh, let's go to the next. Who's she? What, is she, what news is she Abby. from? Abby Martin. She she was was on RT which is Russian Russia today, but um, which I know it's weird. <laughs> it is weird. But her show breaking the set was that was on that. And uh, she basically is one of the most honest reporters Hot, dude. out there and talented. If you see from this painting, um, she she's great. I don't know what she I think she's probably going to transition into some online thing that she does herself, because even she like she reported on Putin being. Uh... Putin. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Putin in her butt. Putin. Ah, I said, that wasn't even very good. Allegedly. Allegedly. Um, so uh, yeah, Abby Martin is. Uh, she, I, I recommend checking her out on oh, any platform I she love was on. This. I didn't realize you said something to stopmasturbation.org. <laughs> What's that? Oh fuck. You, it has the. I look, I put stop masturbation now in on Facebook and goes, it has your comment to him. <laughs> Either somebody put a whole lot of work into the funniest thing I've ever seen, or everybody in the organization should die in a fire. <laughs> or typing with one hand and smacking pud with the other. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is this Was it? that me? <laughs> this is in the comments. That's funny. Yeah, that's you. Does anyone say Did I get in an like, argument yeah. with anybody? Did anyone say anything to him? Yeah, yeah. there's four comments. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, you answered one. Okay, my response is probably going to yeah, be better. Go. <laughs> it goes from Kate Robinson. And you can't decide because masturbator, have fun in triple hell, silly lesser gendered. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love your call. Lesser gendered. The first two funny. hells don't exist. Why would the third... Have fun believing in fantasies, random unhappy person. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Can't we just all beat our meat and get along? <laughs> well, this is a fun post. <laughs> right on. Okay. That's a, that's so, it. okay, I want to see some more products. Sorry, I had to get. To <laughs> I forgot all about that. Yeah, shout out. God damn. It's funny here. If I ever ran for office and, and they just brought up <laughs> some comments that I've made online to people, <laughs> my computer's going slow. I clicked on it a long time ago. <laughs> oh, so we have anti-masturbatory gum. We have the uh, the last one that I remember when we looked at this last time. They had the child cross where uh, you found the website where you uh, you velcroed their hands and feet down while they slept in in a Jesus Christ God, pose, the so they couldn't touch their dicks. Here you go. Their collective 
No, you answer that on the cave cast. Put her on speakerphone. Hello? Not a lot. You're doing something Hello. no one's hey. ever done. <laughs> hey, you're on you're on speakerphone on the cave cast, Kayleen. Hi, Hi Kayleen. Welcome to the cave cast. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you're 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 gonna be on YouTube. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> The newest, awesome. the newest sensation. Hell yeah. So what's up? Not much. Just ready to get off work. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm going to clock out at 54, so I'll be good. 54 o'clock? Jesus Christ. No, 54 hours for the week. Oh. Good Rocking deal. It. Can I borrow some money? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I gotta go. All right, we'll talk to you later. All right. All right, bye. All right. Love you. Wait, Kayla. Kayleen Dow? No. Well, that's what it says. Yeah, aren't you guys supposed to? I remember. What I happened? Yeah. To a, now that I'm thinking about this. What, was it a party for your guys'? Like. Oh, what happened to you on that? Because I, I gotta. I, got, I didn't go. My my crazy girlfriend at the time lost her shit for some reason, and uh, we got in a huge. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's so funny because I was, no, I, don't I, think was dating, she, she, go? she actually I think she told me I could go. I was uh, dating Voldemort at the time, and she fucking I don't remember why, but she just said some stupid shit and it pissed me off, and we got in this huge argument, and I was just like, no fuck it, I don't even want to go anymore. You fucking well, I didn't even ruin know. my night. <laughs> I don't even know. I felt know. bad we about that. We were just coming down here. I don't even know that. I, yeah, I was in a comfort sure, but I was I was struggling through life. I think at that time. <laughs> <laughs> we ended up getting kicked out of rumors within like an hour anyway. So. Because you guys were um, never mind. Yeah. Boning in the bathroom. Uh, <laughs> so, anyways, um, I can't get my. Is it not working? Work, God man. damn. Technical difficulties. Let's well, it's see. like I, it's weird. My computer doesn't do this too often. It's like it's in the, the internet connection's not. Kyle, regale us with another uh, funny UT- UPS <laughs> story while we figure out the, uh, uh, the Oregon ballot. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Wait. Let's not. This is a horrible segue. Let's Kyle talk about your UPS stories. It's better than mine. <laughs> um, I work at UPS. <laughs> God, we are just on fire. I'm oh, fucking yeah. throwing flames out of our fucking mouths right now. <laughs> Spitting it. Um, so oh, that was the stop masturbation now dot org oh, segment. God, we we'll bring we'll we'll revisit this website more often. I think is is what we need to do. Yeah, that's a good that's a good um. I mean, we need a that's splash. A good, that's a good thing for us to go to and while we're doing this thing with the microphones. <laughs> you know. God. I had to, I'm trying to make it as worse as it can possibly be right now. <laughs> um, I think our computer was telling us something last night. <laughs> huh. Don't like, do it. Don't do it. You guys, you guys are going to be flat tomorrow. B game, B game. No A game. <clears throat> okay, so you got a ballot for... Um, Douglas County elections. Yeah, um, official ballot, special election. It's a special election. I and like the Special I've, Olympics. I've, <laughs> It's pretty much yeah, that's uh, what quite I possibly say. because um, the races are very similar, <laughs> in which most of them are unopposed. Yes, there are. There is sixty six percent. There's twelve of them. Eight out of twelve are unopposed elections. People running against nobody but the right in battle. So, Marcus, what am I running for you, this year, my friend? You, Somebody's got to stand up to these people. Well, yeah. it's either you're going to be in the the Douglas County Education Service District. Ooh, that'd be good. Or I like that one. I like that the one. The Roseburg Urban Sanitary District, which uh, I think school. if you're going to do the other one, I can I can rock the sanitary district. Yeah, you I mean you brought yeah. a you brought a uh, football home from the they, dump. You're, exactly. you're basically halfway they, a garbage person. They are both. Well, I didn't take Anything from the dump, just so you know, that is a crime. It's a 
felony, and I would never do such a thing. It was a gift. Uh, oh, and that old gag. Uh, if you, Man, I love saying I love saying on the on the podcast just stuff that Marcus didn't actually do. He is, yeah, it's cr- he loves it. <laughs> he just loves it. If Danny, if Danny, thank God, there's no video element. The education, you could implement this stop masturbation thing into and I absolutely elementary would. school. Right? The elementary school. Well, they do campaign. take naps. They do take naps in kindergarten, I'm yeah, pretty sure. And what do they, they all do need during those naps? Jesus yeah. Christ pose. Yeah. I got a great segue from this right to the the book, you know, the the book that of Mormon? your girlfriend put on the Oh, last yeah. Night. Go ahead and You got to incorporate that in Can we your, play that uh it, it's something that Danny, if if running for this <laughs> this position, this book is ed- in every school ed- library. Education. This 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 book is mandatory from kindergartners through third graders, possibly kindergartners through sixth graders. This book is is is, is <laughs> it te- it teaches sharing, and and you know you. Know, Hard, you know, hard K life is, problems. K is for knife ball. Is that the book? <laughs> it, it's called um, share. Oh, there we go. Something this has to do Cock with sucker. sharing. You know, like balls. Swingers. Like, like, oh, you know, it's it's balls. Okay, you got it. Yeah, I think so. So this this, this was a book that uh, fucking apparently is a real child's book. <laughs> I. I, I laughed out loud to this. This is an actual children's book. Do you want to play with my balls? <laughs> it's good. Hey, Lily, do you want to play with my balls? And there's pictures along with it. you got to watch the video yourself. Sure, but Chuck. I can hold your ball sack. So I'm <laughs> track on the ground. Happy pictures of them playing with First of all, um, can I just say that this is made so much more perfect by the fact that it's being read by a 48-year-old woman? Yeah. Like, or how, I don't know how old she is. That's my guess, but I'm pretty good at guessing that kind of stuff. So, anyways. Her hands look like she could possibly be... Younger? Younger. Her voice sounds old. She sounds like Kelly Ripa, kind of. Kelly Ripa is so young. Not really. No, she's not. She's actually just not as pretty as she used to be. My mom's always yelling, Mommy, get those balls out of your mouth before you choke. <laughs> oh. You know that mean girl, Sally? She squeezed my balls so hard, they looked funny. <laughs> what? <laughs> I love that. Yeah, well, when I play with Sally, I always end up with balloon balls. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Johnson made Sally cry last week. Now that kid's got balls. <laughs> why? Why did they have to go Billy John first and last name on that? I don't like. Where's the? Because it's Johnson. Probably. Uh, Billy Johnson. Billy, Johnson. Uh, Billy Dick. Yep. Billy Cock and Balls. Richard didn't use a Richard. Not anymore. Yesterday, Sally kicked Billy's balls so hard. He lost one. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Louie. Your dog is licking my balls. <laughs> God, I can't wait to have kids. Sparky's fur. Girls hate hairy balls. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You know, Chuck, if we show Sally our hairy balls, she'll scream for sure. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't know. I kind of like Sally. I wish she would play, just play nice with my balls. <laughs> she should have re-recorded. Now, okay, I gotta, I gotta preface this for people that haven't seen it or, or uh, you know, just first finding out about this internet gem. That if the words weren't in this book and it was just pictures, it would just seem like a just a normal kids. Yeah, it looks like Rugrats. Like yeah. a picture book? A picture book? Yeah. That you can make your own story. I'm like, oh, this is a little a little ball heavy, you know, but I mean, it's... You know, they're just playing with balls. Yeah, me too. Hi, 
Sally, do you want to play with our balls? Sure, but only if I can play with both of your balls at the same time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the end. Rocket. Wow. Uh, you know, you know, if there was one more page to that yeah. book, <laughs> there is an Eiffel Tower happening. <laughs> <laughs> the old wobbly H. Um, Whoa. God damn it. Oh, what was that? Uh, yeah. Play with my balls. The longest time. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I'm getting so uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> um, you just you just kind of have to go along with yeah, it. For a little this long. one, this this is what it is today. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just don't know why you guys are sitting on each other's lap. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we do this. Son of a or bitch! Like, that's the video element. Takes, you know, like <laughs> they don't understand how what, what goes on during these things. That's for a mouse. Let's get a camera. You're here for tech talk with uh, Kai, Kai, and Marcus. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to find something, people, uh, to um, show Kyle, but I just can't find it. I. Um. Whoa! Wow. That line's hugging somebody. God damn it! Oh, Is forget it, it. More about kids and balls. I probably. Um. Seen it. There are children involved. But. <laughs> uh. Okay. Let's see here. Let's change up the verbiage a little bit and go Asian instead of Japanese. <laughs> A racist bullshit are you trying to pull here <laughs> I'm just trying to broaden yeah Asian covers a lot of, of water Co- spectrum I think it covers to... the entire country or god the entire Most continent of, of Asia oh I, was I think that's pretty much what Asian covers right yeah <laughs> dude there Marcus if you type in today. creepy Asian I'll tell you what <laughs> it really gets deep <laughs> God damn. Okay. I don't I don't understand why I can't find this fucking thing. Speaking of creepy Asians. My neighbor. Never mind. Don't yes, come on, you can't just down. They're not gonna listen, right? I hope dude if, well, if we were long that, as English, Tim Lincecum rocked it today. If it's in English they wouldn't understand it anyway. Oh, okay. Well what's over? up with your with they, your... they won five nothing. Nice. I just have these crazy my whole like my apartment, there's four doors, you know? It's like a fourplex each building. The Chinese people blow us. The chick is like hot. Like, how eight Chinese. They don't hot, age. Like 100 pounds. Oh, fuck. Craziest bitch ever, dude. Fucking my screaming God. all day, breaking mm. dishes, throwing mm. stuff. <laughs> Just. Uh, like she's the first time I saw her, I'm like, oh, wow, she's, she's pretty good looking, you know? Dude, and then all of a sudden. She's like screaming. I was, I like was on my Google Translator thing, because I'm like, what if she's saying, like, fire? Like, I needed to learn the word for fire in Chinese. So in fuego. Yeah. That's not. That's Mexican Spanish. <laughs> I know. What is that? Uh, oh! <laughs> This, I don't think this is it. What? what is that thing? <laughs> yeah, God. Dude, I had a dream. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god. So Asians That's the can, umbilical cord, right? Asians can burst out of their armpit? <laughs> I thought I knew everything about them. I think him. he squished it and killed it. I knew there it was so- the sideways, sideways, yeah. I didn't know they... Sideways, <laughs> the boys and days. Well, it's obvious where this devolved into. Yeah, just look at... Just type in creepy ass. Asian and... and you will. Go on YouTube. Go on to your, your... Your fucking <laughs> YouTube rabbit hole of that. 
Fuck, uh, I, I, I like personally like um, zit videos and uh, bot fly videos crawling out of people's <laughs> skulls. Yeah, you, you, um, got, a, you got a little uh, <laughs> bot fly YouTube rabbit hole. Yeah, I just, you know, if I wanted to turn my stomach right now. I like the one you had the other day with the spiders. Was that you? Or yeah, you creepy shit. And then, like they, a they, million spiders came out. They were all baby spiders hanging out <laughs> on their mama, like Ooh. on the abdomen, and then he hits them, and then all of a sudden, you just Fucking it's Australia, like, ah, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, the wolf. It was a wolf spider, which we well, have, they have here. like bird-sized spiders down there. Dude. God, that's tough. Jesus Christ! Can we stop? Let's talk about something happy. They indicted six police officers in Baltimore Fuck for the yeah. beating and killing of Freddie Gray. Yeah. Um, three of them, th- three of them were black officers. Yes, which, good. Which is fucking. Good. I like you know. Um, it's, uh, it's not that I just want to want the black man to be down. It just shows that the, it, it's not just the white. It's at all. It's but, cops. It's all cops. Um. Most so cops. yeah, what we have is from the looks of it, we have a district attorney being incredibly scared about what they saw in Ferguson, uh-huh. and what they saw beginning in Baltimore. Because I'm going to go ahead and take a guess that the city where The Wire was filmed is a little more hardcore than Ferguson, <laughs> St. Louis. Baltimore people will get Yeah, their And uh, so they decided to indict these cops and um, bring them up on charges. Now, let's not get too ahead of ourselves because they are still gathering evidence for the Tamir and, Rice case, yes. the 12-year-old. And He's all a twelve-year-old with a toy gun that the cop yeah. was shooting at him yeah. before he even got out of his yeah. car. What about the one where the the cell phone video where the cop shot the dude when he was running? Walter away? Scott. Oh, yeah, we yeah yeah we did that, that one, one a couple weeks ago. I mean, it seems like sick. every week we got yeah. yeah. This, this, it is, and and it, with with how many people were killed, and I I have a there was a graphic I saw saying about how many people were killed mm-hmm. by police white people, black people, yeah. Hispanic. And it was, it was, one was saying, you know, there was like 280 black people killed by police. And then the next one was 480 white people, yeah. you know, and then people like, and, and it's funny, people like, oh, like look, see, more white well, people die like, by you, cops. You, yeah. Do you know what the percentage yeah, of, yeah, of African Americans are in the United States compared to white people? That number <laughs> is blown up. That was very yeah. nice of you to call them African Americans compared to what you usually say. Black? I don't. <laughs> you're making me out to be a bad man here. I'm not no bad, bad man. Bad, bad man. Well, anyways, those six officers that were indicted on that all yeah. all got they were they're all out on bail. Yeah, they're not in jail, and we're and, gonna see. You know, it, what is there? Oh, Jesus. if they bring the if they bring the hammer on them, it 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 it'll change. It there there will be a shift. In, in public opinion on, on this the the view of police officers I feel but if they sweep it under the rug like they've been doing and, and don't yeah. put national spotlight on it well it's gonna fucking end bad like yeah I don't th- think it's gonna end good either way that's I mean, that's kind of what I, I see to, a Rodney I mean, King there needs thing. to be a change though this is, yeah, things are not going in the right direction fucking burnt to the ground yeah. you got the veteran <laughs> in Eugene the other day that got killed. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's just a better there. There's better ways to deal with this than shooting people. Well, and you know, we, and we saw that, that yeah graphic where it said uh, <laughs> there was a guy in New York, the mentally ill person in New York with a knife, and the cops shot him twelve times and killed him. And then the picture below is a crazy man with a machete and a sword in Germany. Which no, it wasn't me. <laughs> There's a machete right there. <laughs> yeah. um, and the cop shot him in the knee to and disable d- him. didn't kill him. Uh, and that's what, d- that's when it really comes down to what, it, that's what you have here is you have job is. lives being extinguished. It's what your job where is. is to no protect. matter what, they, they're, they're dragging Freddie. I mean, you don't have to really drag the guy through the mud. He was arrested for, he was arrested for, uh, what was it? No, eighteen times or something like that before. before. That. For yeah. he's basically a, a crack dealer, is what it looks mm-hmm. like. It's he's he had like yeah. one because I looked at it. It's like oh, he's been arrested eighteen times. Let's go look at all these weed charges that yeah. he's you know. But then I looked at it, you know he was a drug dealer, but so, doesn't mean he now he doesn't have the chance to straighten out his life and and they and give him the opportunity. You know. So his his neck broke, right? Like he, did they beat the shit out of him? Well, or did he they had just throw um, him in the back of that thing, and he rolled around. Here's why. Mm-hmm. Here's why I think we're gonna end up with or a Rodney King situation. 
yeah. because it's kind of the same thing. They in Rodney King, no video, you know, they really, right? they bring out they bring out uh, all the stuff that Rodney this King one. did. He was a drug addict and all this stuff, and you know, of course, they want to besmirch the name of the guy. Mm. Got to make him look bad. But uh, he also had a, a sur- some sort of spinal surgery from a mm. car accident like two weeks before. Supposedly, and uh, so that I'm sure added to it when cops are bending you into a shape you're not supposed to be bent, <laughs> I mean, and you they, just had surgery, then you know he had three disconnected spinal columns. Well, and That's and what, his face was bloody. It's like yeah, you, you know, know he eh. did get you know. There's no video, but you can. There's there's a you, couple videos, but they're not they're not of inside of yeah, that not transport you, vehicle. You see, they like, actually stopped the transport vehicle and pulled him out of it. Uh, to re-restrain him or something like that, they said. And they he needed medical attention before he yeah. was put in there. Yeah, they were holding him up. He could couldn't even walk. They were holding him up. But that's I think that's what you're gonna see. I think Baltimore does, un- unfortunately may burn Dude, over this because Maylene's going on a business trip. I saw that. Yeah, there. she's going to Baltimore in like a week or two. Baltimore's big. Um, yeah, we'll just tell her to stay away from the <laughs> you know the protest areas. Well, um, and stay away from the uh, what were they on last week? The Black Israelites. Oh the video God, we watched. You gonna get raped, man. little white bitch? Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> That's I'm not saying that, yeah. uh, Kayleen. I'm not saying yeah. that. That's what they were saying <laughs> in context on that video. But here, it's just it's just <clears throat> it's don't take like me the wrong that, way. That graphic that you showed. <laughs> I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut that part out. Yeah, you gotta, <laughs> thank you. Rob. I don't do any editing. Le- um, <laughs> the that graphic you showed is is that is what they we need to teach our officers. We need to teach them differently, and that's the the whole case. They're shooting the kill. Well, their their job is to protect and to serve us. Um, yeah, and is that is yeah, serve us, yeah. serve. <laughs> but. They don't. They they have they have an empower empowerment. They feel they feel that we have to listen to them. Blah blah blah. You know. Well, if you would just listen, it is that if that's how life was, you know, everyone. If you didn't want to have to listen to somebody sit, yeah. sit and fucking talk to you, you know, about something you didn't want to hear, you can walk away. You know. But when a police officer is hassling you and and you know you haven't done anything and you try to get away. Or you know you've done something and you try to get away, um, they have they get that. Oh my god! Like it's on. They yeah. they, they fucking they're immediately they're they're vicious. It's like it's a switch. Yeah. They, they realize okay, it's it's physical combat time. You know, it's like fuck. And a lot of it is like my grandpa was a cop back in the day, and he was a fucking badass dude. Like you know he yeah he might have rough people up or whatever, but you know. It was different. It was all now, white people. Yeah, pretty much. No, <laughs> but now it's like, uh, from what I see, like most of the cops I have, like that we grew up with, that yes. are now cops around here, are like these, <laughs> they're, they're all kids? these fucking pussies that get picked on all throughout school. Mm-hmm. You know, they, they're like just the losers, and, and then, then it's they payback go, time. And then they bitch. get a badge, and now they're like, ha, I'm, oh, I'm well, fucking. In I remember now. how you treated me yeah. in high school. Well, I got you know? fucking Brian Jewell. Yeah, fucking pulled me over and they who? Ch- oh, not Brian. Uh, Matt Bird pulled me over. <laughs> How long ago? Got it that was name. when I still lived here. That name okay. keeps coming I, up. I yeah, was funny, leaving. Huh? I was leaving He's someone's on... house that lived on Ramp Road. Like, uh, yeah, ten years ago. <laughs> or not ten years. Like, who eight lived years on ago. Ramp Road? <laughs> uh, previous. Episode. Oh, okay. Yeah. And oh, I, I I was leaving. <laughs> I went to Chevron. It was like two o'clock in the morning on a Saturday. I was wearing fucking basketball shorts and a t-shirt. Basketball shorts. Headed home. Home. Headed home. Headed home. I stopped at Chevron. Got a candy bar and a drink. Well, they thought I was coming from Rumors. Driving down in my mom's fucking PT Cruiser. Driving down uh, Douglas Street. And there's a car parked. I went around the car and I crossed over the line. And there was a cop behind me. I seen him. He did the same thing I did. Yeah. They fucking pulled me over <laughs> and trying to give me a bitch. DUI because like they're like, "Oh, you're yeah. coming from rumors." I'm like, "No, Brian I'm Jewel. My friends. Yeah, he well, he liked that area over there. Yeah, that's they that's me the over, other guy. Yeah, okay. Gave me a breathalyzer. I passed all the tests. Then they tore my mom's fucking car apart looking for like drugs and all. Because I'll tell Brian you what, I knew I used to. 
That guy was a know. cunt in, high, in yeah. junior high. I don't remember him much from high school, but Not he was. A, I went to no, church uh, school with Jewel. him. Yeah. I went yeah. to Christian school with him in elementary school. I'd known him my whole life. And Jesus taught him nothing. Yeah, and Brian then he Jewel. does that. My experience with him was I pulled into I pulled into said driveway. Yeah, and he he is following me up the road. And he, I'm in the driveway, I'm getting out, and he's on me, and he's not letting me shut my freaking door to my car. I'm out of it, and he's like, well, what's the big hurry here, you know? Like, And he's, I go to shut my door, and he, he grabs my door. I've never door. heard this before. You he grabs my door and asks me, he's like, well, what, what are you doing here? You know, I was like, I was like, this is my girlfriend's house, and I'm just coming over to say hi. And she's like, well, what's your name? And I didn't have my ID at the time, and Marcus Simone. And then he said, well, you're not Nick Tompkins, are you? You know, another dude. I am just shouting names out like nothing. <laughs> ah, but fuck that guy anyways. anyways. For, to, for, for, for what purpose is, for the purpose of this, she, he, you know, he, they had a, there's a restraining order there that they weren't allowed to be out around each other. So he, you know, was trying to watch that area, mm-hmm. you know, but anyways. Yeah, that's that's my experience of him grabbing my door and being like, you can't do that shit. See, what yeah. are you in a hurry for? No, it's because like, I don't want to deal with you. It's this above the law yeah. thing, and that's the problem where you've got Republicans that say, well, if you don't want to blah, 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 don't break the law. Yeah. And it's like, well, Just there comply. is constantly, they're in the process right now of retracting a law that has stood for 60 years where marijuana is recreationally illegal. The mm-hmm. states right now are proving, and it's about to be, I'm sure, federally legal soon, Very that soon. they're proving that not all laws, prohibition, that not all laws are, are fucking or, there to stay and that you sometimes. should follow because they're not right. Times change. And then when you have police unions that hold up uh, these guys thinking they're above the law, like, like you just said, yeah. did the same thing you did, which is a, a very small uh, example, yeah. obviously, but... It's the same thing where where he's like, you know, or or he's like, ever seen cop? This is another one I don't understand is when when they pace you to give you a speeding yeah, ticket, yeah, and they just follow it's you. Like, okay, now follow there's now you. there's two of us that are driving unsafely. Yeah, <laughs> it's not just me. Yeah, like you fuck with how, two wrongs making. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, well, it's, it's okay just, for them to do it. It's so okay that so that that everything. fucking yeah. don't break the law thing yeah. is bullshit because you can't. Just like I said before, you can't take that as the Bible because it's going to change. You can't take the Bible as the Bible either because things m- change. Pretend stuff. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Yeah, you can't you can't stone your wife to death for being raped anymore. Like, and if she, yeah, yeah, if she here because she didn't scream loud enough. Yeah, you know, if she didn't scream loud enough, it means she didn't want to be raped. Things like change, people. Calm down. Oh, uh, fuck. Well, if you don't want to get. You know, shot in the back, you shouldn't steal candy bars, I guess. Uh, yeah, you well, shouldn't steal candy That's bars. What saying. You shouldn't run from police That's because the one. Sean Hannity says, you know, fuck, if you're going to run from the police, they have every your right to shoot you in the back. <laughs> it's like, it's like, are you kidding really? me? Like, R- why, why is it? Fuck wh- Sean Hannity. Fuck Sean Lowry. Yeah. Fuck everybody named Sean right now. And fuck Fox News. Just because that's uh, how I roll. <laughs> no, and and that's the other argument is you say, well don't run from police. Well, when your community has a entire history of people getting the shit kicked out of them by the cops for doing nothing without you know, and I mean that's that happens, happened time they figured it out with Ferguson when they did the internal investigation with it where they, you know, there's a history of of prejudice and horrible in Ferguson and, especially, and I'm sure that's going to come out that Racism. there is in Baltimore too and and and. Fucking emails and all the, the thing the, the and then the, then you also see uh, why are they destroying their community uh, blah blah you know that's not helping your cause well guess what you're a a white guy that grew up don't get me wrong everybody has a hard life I don't mm-hmm. I don't think that's the case at all that nobody ha- but it's different versions of it and when you mm-hmm. we grow up just kind of nervous when we see cops just because it's like oh i was just speeding and you know they'll he's going to try to get me or we don't live or, in a high risk or area. i have a bag of plants in my pocket it's and not a high risk and area. so that's and but we still get a little anxiety but can you imagine where there's stop and frisks where they fucking make you turn out your pockets just randomly like they're the gestapo yeah. and and can you and and we don't deal with 
being in a poor community where you get nothing. You, they're, not, they're not working on education there. Uh, the war on drugs that's been they're, going on for 60 years is locking up people for having plant in their pocket. And you're taking away, you know, father figures from communities just because price, you know, just because of selling weed or whatever. And these communities are given the lower end of the barrel it's, on it's everything. All, yeah, yeah. You know, they don't they don't get, you know, their their education systems get the leftovers. Yeah. If if they even get that. And so there there is very much a they're doing it on purpose. It's purposely done. They they yeah. put people in areas and they you know, they they, and, uh, they put people to control those so, areas. So those charge. those people that are saying that, you know, don't break the law, don't run from the cops, those pull yourself up by your bootstraps type of people Never that, that love them. to trot out a black guy that made it out of the hood and did something, yeah. that's the low percentage, you know? Yeah. Like, it's hard yeah. to do. Uh, it obviously, so it deserves good. respect yeah. because of how hard it is to do. But you, if you're that guy saying that stuff, you don't know. The rage that is probably in in you constantly, and when enough is enough, you know we've all every one of us been in a fist fight before, where where it's just like you know I don't think any one of us go out and want to hurt people normally, but there's a it's line like that except for Kyle. I mean, <laughs> he's hurting people all the time. Um, but uh, yeah. Uh, don't answer the door. I have a serious anger problem. <laughs> yeah, he, he, you don't, these people he delivers packages. Don't answer to the door or a really tall guy in really short shorts will assault you. Dude, I wear Mormon shorts, man. I told him I was Mormon. Uh, longer, Mormon. Oh, is that how you worked that out? I was talking to Grizz yeah. the other day. There's and some fruity fucking looking dudes. That he's got to wear, wear, he's got to wear the fucking. He, uh, he is a Mormon. Is he? Grizz? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, yeah. David Grizz? Him and, him and Bud were. Dude, yeah. I. I his family's Mr. Mormon. Cinderblocks. Mr. Cinderblocks Mr. himself. Cinderblocks yeah. himself. Shout out to Cinderblocks McGillicuddy. Go, he needs to um, go in there and tell him fucking John Smith in the and heat. Brigham Young, Young say <laughs> his pants need to go to his knees. Say fucking the uh, the fighting angel Malachi came to me and told me that I need longer shorts. Did you say Morana. John Smith too? Who? Uh, yeah, yeah, John, John Smith. No. Captain John Smith? No, no. <laughs> It's not John Smith. Yeah, there is. John Smith's some There's Mormon a, dude. Is that what it is? I think it is. Br what were the first two? Brigham Young. Brigham Young. John Smith. And John. Wait, John Maronia. Smith? <laughs> dude, I got these Mormons coming to my house all the time. Yeah. And you, I remember you talked you talk to those people. You talked to the military recruit for like two hours you know, once. Oh, and shit. I, I remember you talking on the phone. I had these Mormons ever. over in my apartment, and I was drunk. <laughs> and they're like asking if I could come in. I'm like, have a beer in my hand. I'm like, sure. Mm -hmm. Sitting there, and I'm like, just like, you know, and I like, smoke. Joseph Smith. <laughs> Joseph Smith. Smith. Yes. John Joe J. Jingleheimer. John Smith. Uh, Jerry. So, so that's what you. That, I mean, Jerry Burke. Those arguments. <laughs> uh, the big dick bastard himself. <laughs> those arguments just don't hold up, and uh, and I'm sick of seeing them. Weak. Yeah, and I'm back to I'm back to the level that I was before when Ferguson was going on. It's like, guess what? The friends list on Facebook is just gonna is gonna get fucking chopped down because I'm sick of it. And yeah. you're you're not you're not showing empathy, and you're not, and and then you'll get yeah. I don't know. It's just I I see exact. I've been in that same bunch where I have there's people I have deleted because yeah. they I can see that. They are people that haven't looked at the situation at all and, and have a belief in place before this happens. Yeah. They, they, they have a, they, they are, they were racist. That's the well, way yeah, I think they're, they're the racist people, people that and I didn't want to fucking be, I don't want anything to do with them. Like, uh, this happened and the dude getting shot in the back. Every time it's like everyone's saying one thing, but they're going to call him, like, well, oh, this is this. Like, it's, it, well, Still got the I've Bush stickers say, from like, 2008 yeah, on it, I, I, 2004. I, people say, I just don't like how it's reported in one direction from one way. You know, it's like the whole, the, the and they're the people Which looking at the major news outlets. And they're that reporting they it the one take way is, themselves, yeah. Is real news, not as, yeah. the, they take it as fa for face value. Yeah. What they're saying is true. There is such a, yeah, it, prede predetermined narrative with CNN and Fox News and and all of those outlets. It's Twitter, man. You get on fucking Twitter. You follow the right people that are in the thick of it, and they're reporting it as it happens. It's like, see, those places are obsolete at this point now. When, like 
Or they're going to be soon. When smart people are saying... That's the thing. Smart people with, with intelligence the, uh, for social, this, um, social awareness. If there's people that, that are out there saying something, they're smart, and, and they're oppo- like against the police brutality, they're not saying it just because that's yeah. where... You, they're saying it because they have... They've put the work in. They've they've and see the injustice happening, and and they don't put up a blind eye. Free to thought it. project. It's it's a yeah. It, that side is, you know, it might look like it's not you know legit, but if you read one of those articles, it's in fact too legit. Too legit. They're way too, too legit. Too quick. Hey hey. hey. Um, burn, 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 right. burn, 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 sweat run all over my chest. Uh, I don't quit, no. I just press harder than I ever did before. Going for the move. Okay. Then I had not store my mind. All right, I'm done. Sorry. Uh, I had to add shit. something. Anyways, this is what this, the quote I was looking for was the, about the situation. is Malcolm X quote. There, there was police brutality and there was atrocity. The press... The press was just as atrocious as the police because they helped the police to cover it up by propagating a false image across the country. You know, it, it damaged control. That's a, these major news companies damage. are mm. all damage control because they're owned by the reptilians. <laughs> The people like the Rockefellers that own the government, you that, know? That cut the hearts out of small children in order to stay alive because and bathe know, in virgin blood. Because they know that organic material, if it's younger, it will last longer. Okay, so I just decided what I'm going to do on this. Since there's plenty of people running unopposed on this little ballot that we have here, I am just going to pick the name that I don't like the most and run against him. Fire, fire. So I've got Jerry Greasy, Greasy which bad. I just I never. I hate the name Jerry. Bob Greasy. Uh, I hate the name Greasy because I had Brian Greasy in fantasy football one year and it was just bad. I've um, never met a Jerry that I like. <laughs> you don't like Jerry Burke? I fucking hate the guy. <laughs> I'm joking. I love Jerry. Um, I know Jerry. Yeah, the there's. Rodney D. Cotton, I think, uh, is the one that I don't like Rodney's the most. Too. Like, he's all hating Rodney. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, um, neither Rodney nor his mustache listen to this, I imagine. So Rodney has a killer up. mustache. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Last I, time I saw him. I would, I'd love to see Rodney. It's yeah. hilarious because from the neck up, he looks like any uh, right wing country boy kind of. And then he takes his shirt off, and he's got just naked women tattooed on him. And um, anyways, so Rodney D. Cotton, I'm coming for you, dog. Roseburg School District Number Four Director Position Four, four year term. Write right it into your ballots right now, Danny Admire for Roseburg School District Number Four Director Position One. We four. rock that shit. Direct, sorry, Director Position Four oh. against Rodney Cotton. You're going down, Rod. What? what? You're going down. Um, that's gonna be it for the. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> I'm gonna apologize. I see who I want to run against. Oh, oh, my sorry. turn. Yeah, pick up, pick out a name yeah, you don't like. Okay, yeah. I already got Rodney. Rod Cotton. Rod Cotton, huh? Cotton. Well, whoever, I think. Polyester. I think it's this Danny Admire guy. I don't like his name. I just wrote my I name in there. You just, it's in. I want to run against that. Guy. It's in colored pencil. <laughs> Aren't there any women? They're actually Doris yeah, I mean, you, A. Johnson La- could... Lathrop. Easily. Ooh, be. is she, she running unopposed? She's running against Bob Allen for Umqua Community College. I don't know. I, I don't think know what somebody that needs to dethrone Doris. College. John Parker Jr., Chris Lansing, Lee John Holmes, Parker. Kelsey L. Woods, Jerry Greasy, Patrick Treese, John Markovich, Paul Jackson Jr., and Paul E. Meyer. I'm, r- I'm going to run, run against probably... Paul E. Meyer. Paul E. Meyer. Paul E. Meyer. You're going down, Polly. Director, position six, four year term. Vote for Marcus Simone. Right in. He will bring you something. That's Simone with an E at the end. Not Simon with no E. Like all those guineas do. They love throwing uh, vowels in where they don't belong. Oh, a Simone. Yeah, it's Simone. Yeah, Simone. Okay, um,. Uh, Twitter at Danny Admire at Marcus Simone. No, I'm stupid. At Monka CMP. Uh, go like the Facebook no page. That. Hey, posed. 
uh, the Facebook page, there's a link in it at the bottom of this video that you are listening to right now. Just click on it and then give us a thumbs up. Uh, thumbs up. They, they, I love thumbs uh, up. God damn. And <laughs> my ass. Uh, so go do that. It's really easy. It takes you two clicks, literally. And you put a smile on our faces. And also share this shit. We, we, it's obvious we're getting a couple more viewers. We're getting a couple more Between people every once views. in a while. It goes up, and it's it's growing. So, um, and I'm imagining that it's it's word of mouth. This is grassroots fucking podcasting. Right? For, <laughs> so. for for how for how all over we've been on this one. Yeah, I maybe still, don't direct them to this one. I would still uh, say this is the best. Yeah. Hey, you got it. <laughs> this one is it, it's good entertainment. For, I for see either this one or number purpose. 19. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the only ones he's listened to. Uh, I'm just going to put your name in all of them. I listened yeah. to the one with Troxel and uh, Brandon Ryan. That one has a lot of views. Yeah. Well, I listened to like w- after you guys started taking shots. I'm trying to make a point here. The, I, the, no one was... There was no shots there taken. Was, I don't there know. were shots taken. Oh, a bunch Kyle. of people. not drinking. I know. I mean, you got heroin. Yeah, yeah, we know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just oh, Danny. I'm. Goose. I'm just like, yeah. These people, man. These people, are my <laughs> friends. Yeah, I know. It's 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 tough. No, the, um, it's tough. So, it's tough. Uh, God damn it! I had some. Oh, it's tough. Man. Tell a friend if you like it. Help us out. Help a brother out, and. Spread the word, because we want to keep doing this and building it bigger and bigger and making it more and more exciting. And um, and as advertisement, we will, if you if you like our page... Marcus will give you $250. No, that is untrue. Oh. <laughs> I, we, but we will. Marcus will give you and a friend a hand job but, in but the front seat will, of your pickup. We will do... Marcus will give you a foot massage and coconut oil. And we will oil. do... <laughs> This we will whatever you want us to write on our cave cast or cave music Facebook page, like our page and we will like it. We're taking the Riddick Bow stance here. I'm signing off. Twenty (laughs) dollars. Yeah, I'm giving it for free. Riddick Bow charges twenty dollars. I got it. We will put your idea on our page. Yeah. Um, and also, I mean, let's just build on this while we're going. <laughs> Fuck Marcus. Hey, if you guys no. got, if you guys are are steady listeners and you got something you want us to talk about, yeah. throw it out there. We'll exactly. we'll give That's it a shot. Pretty much what I meant. Yeah. Even if okay. it's something really, even if it's something. That's really what we're here. Thanks we're spitballing here. We're spitballing. Um, yeah. write it on the big board. There's no big board. No. <laughs> yes, there is. Uh, is that? Ch- what you, is that chalk or I don't know. Oh, my fingers feels on like... a table. Like, <laughs> I was trying to make it sound like chalk. Uh, um, so you guys are welcome for the funniest 10 minutes in this podcast being at the end. And uh, <laughs> thanks to Kyle for coming over short notice. That was very kind of you. You're welcome. Could you imagine if you weren't here uh, to huh. throw in a couple stories today? Jeez. This shit would have got straight. This would have been just crazy. Goofy. I would have been sitting there. <laughs> 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 in the guest chair um that's been the cave cast is there anything else uh, uh there really shouldn't be anything else yeah say. there's this there's nothing else so vote I've vote for us all. for um roseburg school district whatnots and uh kyle why did you pick the song of the week because what does it mean to you personally <laughs> it means the song before it i couldn't pick <laughs> 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 I picked the song. Um, I just picked it one one song away from the one. Well, he wouldn't let me he pick. P- he wouldn't let me pick Puff Daddy. <laughs> so, or P Diddy or Diddy or Papa Diddy Pup. Shout me a holla down. So I went with that. Okay, song Puppy is uh, called Crust. "One of a Kind" from Atmospheres. God loves ugly album. Um, and this one, this album just it, takes me back constantly right, to... Featuring Sage Francis. Oh, yeah, yeah. and we found that out today. Sage Francis is on the intro to this, which you will hear shortly Fuck now. Fuck you and your lies. That um, has Shady been the Cave Cast. We love you all individually and as a group. And tell your moms we said hello. Yeah. Yeah. I think this should oh, happen every day. Yeah. I hope that song starts real soon. Is Two this no. is yeah. Two I'm different because I respect my audience. I don't yell at them. 
and I'm special because I respect my audience. Yeah. Shut the fuck up! She listened to what the MC said She might as well plug the RCA chords into her head Taking that into consideration At the center of creation Cats still criticize my frustration raps Well off he goes Come in, cop some flows Cross your toes in hopes that I don't climb you like an obstacle Mission impossible, fishing in the kitchen sink Y'all will fall for anything So what you think this kid will bring? Poker face, let me hold my place The namesake is slug But you, you can call me Stoker Ace Open invitation to catch today's ejaculation All across the Front of your pretty little apron This goes to those that want a mouth full of Sean's load Thanks for starting now, you're barking down the wrong road Sacrifice plays a part in grabbing mics from now till the afterlife I'll continue passion like I love this fucking whore with all my heart And ain't nobody gonna stop me from doing my part It gave me life, it saved me life, it raised me right So slide shoulder side and please hand over that mic Who am I? One of a kind, send them One at a time, you're all the same Only separate by kick snares and names Some of you all even share the same names So fuck you and your lies, baby, show no shame What is this? One of a kind, send them One at a time, you're all the same Only separate by kick snares and names Some of you all even share the same names So fuck you and your lies, baby, show no shame So point a finger at the sucker that's having a good summer Ain't got no bread, no wheat, no wonder But I got the phone number to this weakness I know Who can put me back together, make me feel whole So take me apart, try to break me down And spend all you got just to hate the clown You can fake the frown Imitate the sound Underworld, worldwide Wide world of underground It goes one little Two little Three little indie rap Headphones, backpack Watch them all piggyback Switch up my styles They all complain But see which kids next year Sound the same as me The same shit Yesterday was like today Only difference is I trust Even less of what you say But all in all I still make the noise I still break the toys I still hate your voice I still say Fuck a major label till it limps Put your deal up on our table and we'll show you who's the pimp There is no sympathy for the careless Fuck the extra credit and fuck the demerits Class dismissed One of a kind One of a kind One of a kind, send them. One at a time, you're all the same. Only separate by kick snares and names. Some of y'all even share the same names. So fuck you and your lies, baby, show no shame. What is this? One of a kind, send them. One at a time, you're all the same. Only separate by kick snares and names. Some of y'all even share the same names. So fuck you and your lies, baby, show no shame. Who am I? One of a kind. One at a time. So fuck you and your lies, baby, show no shame. One of a kind.